Great evening for a game of football at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith has joined me for the commentary today. Premier League football we have for you, it's coming right up. Manchester City against West Ham United. Yeah, thanks Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. Number 17. There's a couple of players who you might keep a special eye out Number for today. Alan Smith's certainly David going to do that. Oh, I love watching Number this pair play. I haven't Rio disappointed Mare. this season. They've been the Number most 10, threatening players for Sergio me for both their teams. Aguero. And number seven, Raheem Sterling. Manchester City's lineup today. The goalkeeper is Edison. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in the middle of midfield. Sergio Aguero is the sole striker. West Ham United's lineup is this. Lucas Fabianski plays in goal. Aaron Cresswell starts with Pablo Zabaleta in the fullback positions. Robert Snodgrass starts, looking to continue his great form in midfield. Only one up front in terms of an out and out forward. Game's underway here, Manchester City having kicked off. Silva. Here's Zinchenko. Sterling. Good reading of the play by the defender there at a time where his team were really under the cosh. Presswell. Felipe Anderson. Lanzini. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. And that will be a throw. Lanzini. Can really get at the opposition here. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Must take the lead here! That's so straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but it would have been a surprise if he dropped it. Yeah, kept his eye on the ball. Good handling from him. Gonna go for that yellow card here. Just a free kick. Now De Bruyne. Walker. It's about finding the right pass now. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. He's cut it out. And he went to win the ball, but the result is a throw. Angelo Ogbonna. Lanzini. Rice. Nice interplay between the two of them. Patient play as they try to get the goal that will put them in front. Well, no danger from that cross because the defender can cope with it easily. Now De Bruyne. Sergio Aguero. De Bruyne. A bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Looking a problem until the clearance was made. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Now De Bruyne. Guiding it through. Sterling. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. Deflected behind. A clear corner. This team hasn't had many opportunities lately to uh, find the goal to go ahead, but there's one here, and the crowd know it. Now the shot! Goal, they've taken the lead here. They go in front with this very slick attack.
however the opposition sets up against them, they have the power to break them down. It's really exciting, it's really entertaining, and as you've seen, yet again, it's really effective. You've got to be in a confident frame of mind to take it in the way that he did here. Wonderful finish. Well, it's Manchester City in front. Number 25, Fernandinho. Now Felipe Anderson. Saw that coming and intercepted. Aguero. It's De Bruyne. David Silva! Two up with another fine piece of attacking play, typical really of the work of the players and the effort that they put in on the training ground. The manager has got terrific belief in attacking football and he must be thrilled, probably beyond even his wildest dreams. They attack, they score, they attack, they score. That's the kind of team they are. Well, it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Restarting at 2-0. Goal for Manchester City, number 21, David Silva. Rice. Felipe Anderson. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. Silva. Sterling. City bossing this in terms of control in possession. We've seen some lovely football. Their key players really pulling the strings and put them into a dominant position from which you can't really see them messing it up. Sebastian Haller. The fourth official no has indicated there will be a That's minimum. That's the referee's decision. Two, two added minutes. Zabaleta. Robert Snodgrass. Strong challenge. Well, that's half time. And 2 0 is the score at the halfway mark. Well, you can score a goal at any point in a game. He hasn't really looked like scoring any so far, has he? He'll be hoping for better as the match develops. That touch map pretty much sums up the game as a whole. The opposition have been on top. They're winning and winning fairly comfortably, and he hasn't been able to influence it. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. He's got possession back for his team. He's got good support in the middle if he gets his cross in. Tackled well there. Sterling. Sergio Aguero. An incisive pass. Sterling. What a good interception. And now a throw in. Alexander Zinchenko. West Ham will make a change shortly. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Noble. Gives it away, straight to the opposition. Good interception there. And excellent vision. Could pull one back here. It's still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Doesn't want to get caught in possession here. Manchester City push on now in a wide area. 
really away from the threat here. Well, they've got a set-piece specialist, haven't they? And this might just suit him. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. Well, the keeper knows. He knows he's got a shot to face here. Aguero! Hit the post! And that will be a throw. Still can't believe that effort didn't go in, Martin. I think one or two of the players threw their arms up in celebration for a second. Silva. Here's Aguero. Aguero trying to steer it through. He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. Walker. Now the possibility for a cross. It's Aguero. That's more what we expect from him, Alan, isn't it? He's a decent keeper, but he's not been at his best today. No, but the key is to, to keep going, to not lose heart, and he's not done that. Substitution now for West Ham United. De Bruyne. Aguero. He's lost the ball. Rice. Read the play well to intercept. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attack of the chase. A really incisive breakaway. Held his position, stayed on side, in at the keeper, but he's denied him. Oh, he's such a good keeper in these situations, you know. He's very cool, and he got his angles absolutely correct there. Now Mares. It's De Bruyne. On to Sergio. Far chance. And it's in by the post. Just touched in off the post. Goalkeeper absolutely beaten. Oh, it's a wonderful strike. Really crisp effort. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. Now he's switched the point of attack here. Angelo Ogbonna. Here's Kevin De Bruyne. Sergio Aguero now. Turn to Mares. Here, it's the goalkeeper's ball. Number 10, Sergio Aguero. Zabaleta. Just one minute left on the clock. One or two options now in forward areas for them. That's the final whistle from the referee. Great day for them to win the game and keep the opposition out. Yeah, job done, wasn't it? The opposition weren't at their best today, but you still have to beat them. Sergio Aguero, his game today under the microscope of my colleague here, Alan Smith. Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams.